What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice Nine One coming, guys, for another video. So, uh, for for everybody out there that was speculating and wonder if the Eagles were gonna make a move following the uh, following the um, injury to second string quarterback Nate Suffield during um, during the preseason game against the Tennessee Titans. Well, it appears that um, Doug Peterson has answered that for you guys and confirmed that the Eagles will not be getting a you no. Know, they will not be looking to um, trade trade for or sign a veteran quarterback. He made that very, very, very clear. Um, you know, there was, there was a lot of speculation. Obviously, I put out, I put out a post. Um, you know, ask you guys who would you want to see or what what would you do? And it appears that um, they, they would not be making any moves. Um, here's what um, Doug P's had to say. He kept it very short and simple. He said that there's really not a lot to be said about the quarterback position. We're comfortable with the two guys we have behind Carson Wentz. They they are going to get a lot of work the um a work now these these next several weeks obviously in practice it's like any other uh, it's like any other position on our football team if if the need if the need to add depth and value we will but at this, but at this time we're we're confident with the guys we have and moving forward so um yeah Doug Pisa said that he's very confident in um uh, Cody Kessler and um. Cody Kessler and um no and Thornson. I wish I shared those uh, feelings with um Doug Peterson, but I, quite frankly, I don't. I really don't share any faith or confidence whatsoever in um Kessler or Thornson. And I'm crossing my fingers right now, praying to God, praying to the man upstairs, man, that um Carson Wentz stays healthy, because if Carson Wentz goes down, man. I don't even want to imagine um, what position we'll be in if Carson goes down. Thank God with Nate Suffield, though. Thank God that his injury is only a um, it's only six weeks. It could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, I'm hope I'm hoping that Carson Wentz not only stays healthy but returns to his MVP form, so that we don't have any need for any of the other quarterbacks. You know, uh, when it comes to playing on the field, um, but. <sighs> I I personally had hope that the Eagles would um you know go out there and look and look at some options at quarterback you know maybe bring in you know maybe call the Dolphins to see about Ryan Fitzpatrick I know some people were bringing up Colin Kaepernick you know um, regardless of what you think of Colin Kaepernick or the you know you know the the the, the quote unquote baggage that um, comes with him you know I think he would have been a solid you know backup for Carson Wentz but it is what it is man we. We have to roll with, you know, the punches, I guess you would say, and we have to go with what we have. But like I said, man, I have no confidence whatsoever in Cody Kessler or Thorson. They have not done anything to um, to make me feel confident that they could come in if, God forbid, knock on wood, something happens to Carson Wentz. Um, I was watching that game to um, to try to build, it, build that confidence in myself that um, Nate Sunfield would be fine if he was put in that position. I was watching Nate, I was watching him very carefully the way he played, and my confidence in him were starting to really build. You know, I knew that he definitely had talent. You know, we've seen him play in the past. You know, he spent he spent the two, you know, he spent two years behind um, Wentz and um, Nick Foles. You know, as a third string quarterback, and in the action, the limited playing action that he got, we saw good things out of him. And in this preseason game, we definitely saw good things out of him. He had a, a, a big 75-yard touchdown pass down the field. And, um, yeah, my confidence in him was starting to really build up that he definitely you know, that he definitely could handle it if need be, you know. But um, the unfortunate injury happened, man, and I'm praying that these injuries stop, you know, because I don't want to go into a season where players are dropping like flies. So hopefully, man, that uh, these guys are hurt right now, they get healthy, and, um, you know, we go on – we, we go through this season with a relatively healthy roster because it would be a shame that a team with so much talent, so much potential is, you know, a promising season be, uh, gets derailed because of injury. But um, I don't agree with Doug Peterson whatsoever when he says that um, it's just like any other football, football position. No, it's not. Quarterback is not like any other position. Quarterback is the most important position on the field. You got to have a solid backup quarterback because – you never know what happens with the starting quarterback, especially a guy like Carson Wentz, who's come off of two back-to-back -back seasons where, you know, two, no, he had a what? He had an ACL injury, 
and then he had a rot I think um but some in uh, rotating in his back I believe it was. So no, it's not like any other position, man. Quarterback the quarterback position is the most important position in the in the NFL. Plain and simple, it is the most important position on the team. So it's not it is not like any other position. I don't agree with that at all. And the guys that you have behind Carson Wentz, I have not been impressed with them whatsoever. They have not done anything to build my confidence in them whatsoever. I watch um, Thorson, especially Thorson. Well, both of them, but Thorson was playing scared, nervous, just terrible, terrible decision making, terrible throws. Um, Kessel was just garbage, complete trash. I'm just calling like I see it, man. Um, so, yeah, I'm just praying to the man upstairs, man, that um, Carson Wentz stays healthy and uh, returns back to the MVP farm because I don't want to imagine. Uh, having to turn things over to either one of those two. I am not confident whatsoever in those two. Um, I, I made I put out that post on my community wall well, yesterday, and the, the reaction, to, you know, thank you guys again for voting in that poll. I was very curious to see what you guys thought about it, and most of you guys said Colin Kaepernick. Um, I, 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 Ryan Fitzpatrick got some love in there as well. But um, it is what it is, man. Um, doesn't doesn't appear whatsoever that the Eagles are gonna are gonna make any moves at um you no know, free agency or you know you no know, um, trying to trade for anybody. It doesn't appear that's gonna happen. And I and I believe the pieces on this. I, I believe them. I believe they're gonna go with what they have. Um, I think I think if um, the injury had been worse to to um they suffered, they definitely would have made a move. But because it's only a um, six week injury, what they're hoping is is that um. Obviously, we're all hoping that Carson Wentz stays healthy and plays the full season, but that Nate Sunfield will be, will be back within the next um, six weeks, and he'll, he'll be he'll be fine. The you know the backup Carson Wentz, if need be. But like I said, man, um, I'm not happy whatsoever. With, you know with what we have behind Carson Wentz at quarterback. Neither one of those guys. Um, I, I pray to God neither one of those guys see 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 the field during the regular season, because like I said, man. If something happens to Carson Wentz and we have to rely on Cody Kessler or or Thorson, that's a scary that's a scary thought. It, it, it to, to me it scares the hell out of me. That's a very very scary thought. But um yeah, Eagles for what it appears what it, it appears are not um, they are not looking at any options um, at quarterback with Nate you no know, you know, after Nate Suffield's injury. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you agree with Doug? Um, if not, tell me why. Do you agree with me? If not, tell me why. But um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. As always, go birds. Spunky991 is out of here. Fly, Eagles, fly. Peace. Get well soon, Nate Suffield. Please get well soon, Nate Suffield. And Carson Wentz, please stay healthy so we don't need to. The, we don't need any of these backups on the field. But, yes, get well soon, Suffield. Fly, Eagles, fly. Peace.